Hey everyone, good morning. It's September 9th, 2021. We're going back to the Dixie. We've got a brand new cursor here, so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. So, um, Dixie just won't quit, and we've been watching the northwest corner of this fire for weeks now, even going on over a month. What's going on here is there was a burn here in Lassen Park in uh, 2012 called the Reading Fire. And you can see this white line here in the middle. Um, that's yesterday's perimeter, the purple, um, the light purple areas that have already burned. And so um, this Reading Fire, um, it burned pretty hot. And the fire for the last month really just kind of skunked around in here in Dixie. Uh, this corner just really didn't do much. It's up pretty high. And um, so just messed around. Uh, but now it's finally dry and hot again, as dry as it's been. And so over the past week, the fire has been spilling north out of the reading fire. And yesterday it kind of just finally did it um it's been kind of pushing and pushing and um on the sixth firefighters um lit some backfires firing operation along the edge of the park so the park boundary here is the purple line um this is Lassen park boundary and so um outside of the park uh, the reading fire burned out of the park um, onto some Forest Service land, and there was a bunch of fuel treatment that was done after the fire. These these are kind of these um, light white areas. And so a bunch of dozer line got pushed outside the park here, uh, right up to the park boundary, and then across um, between the dozer line is the Pacific Crest Trail and the Nobles Immigrant Trail within the park. So... Um, as the fire was pushing north a couple of days ago on the 6th, um, they tried to do some firing here kind of off the PCT and these dozer lines, and that um, got lost. And so by yesterday, um, this white line is where the fire was the uh, night before last on the night of the 7th. Um, but yesterday, the 8th, the fire just kind of got up and got out of there. It's added a couple thousand acres. And um, now it's outside the reading fire. The reading fire boundary kind of followed these dozer lines and um, came down through here. And this area over here um, is an area that firefighters tried to fire out about 10 days ago. And the there, these white polygons show where there's been fuels treatment done. So this area had been piled um, with tractor and they'd burned the piles after the fire i think with the idea of um, prepping it to plant some trees anyway so you can see the fire has spread down and it um, it's burned around this area that was previously burned 10 days ago and also the fuel treatment in the middle um, out here you can see lava flow so this is the north side of lassen park and um, really harsh just lava flow so the fire is kind of tied into the lava flow there so now you know the fire is spotted out ahead of itself um, it's not going to spread you know right through all this solid rock but there are these uh, you know stringers of timber out there and it's spotted way out here yeah so it ran about um, last night um, the IR we had yesterday at 4:45. Um, it ran two and a half miles after two four after four forty five yesterday afternoon, and then it's spotted here another probably two miles out. So it's well out of the box. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago we had a firing operation over here that um, got away and burned this whole area out. And so we're just in this mode um, that we've been in really for almost a month here of just chasing spots on the east side of the. Um, and the reason we call this the east side is that we're on the east side of the mountains here, um, of the Cascades, east side of the Sierra when we get farther down. Um, 
but it's just this, you know, if we look out to the east, um, it's just desert. You know, we're um, we're pretty close to the ragged edge of the tree line. You know, where we stop having ponderosa pine at all, and we just get out into the desert sagebrush. So that's where we're at right now. Is just um, we've got basically a desert fire burning in um, east side pine. Incredibly difficult to control. Just the spotting, even though it's fairly flat and we have decent access in a lot of places, it just spots. All right, so coming back to a little simpler view here, we're just looking north here, north at the top over the new part of the fire. Um, old station is out here. This is Highway 44 coming from Redding. Here's Highway 44 going out of Old Station up the Hat Creek Rim and out towards Susanville. So we've got spots all the way out in here. Uh, pretty much that's outflanked these two dozer lines. We've got southwest winds forecast for today. Um, there's kind of a frontal system moving through um, California. And so 24 hours from now, we're supposed to get some, you know, looks like a period of winds that are more out of the east that um, can carry the fire this direction. The thing about having spots scattered all around out like this is just that um, some of them are likely to, to grow. And especially as we go through these kind of hot, dry afternoons with winds. So we're supposed to continue to get generally southwest winds that are going to grow these spots, carry more fire out here. Then we get the east winds. And as we've talked about over and over here, it's just that, you know, here on this kind of east side deserty landscape, the winds come from all over the place all the time, especially this time of year. So we still got, um, you know, quite high hazard out here of, um, this fire continuing to grow and, um, grow rapidly. So that's why they, um, have done the evacuations for old station, uh, area. Um, I don't, I don't know that they've got evacuations right for the, for downtown old station, if that's a thing, but, um, just having these spots way out here, just, um, it's a pretty bad deal. There was another, um, bit of fire spread yesterday afternoon as we move across the north side. Um, and it sounded like it was wrapped pretty quickly, but this is, um, just north of Butte Lake. There's about a 30 acre spot outside the lines. Um, you see that we put in a ton of dozer line out here and this area has been, you know, they've been working on this for for days and days uh, there hasn't been a lot of heat showing up over here so just a reminder that um, this fire is going to just keep doing what it wants in this dry deserty environment uh, the good news on Dixie is just that there there isn't really any spread mapped on the southeast corner of the fire so um, we're not going to even go over there today um, down around Portola uh, fire Ran pretty hard earlier in the week and bumped into the Beckworth. And, um, but the last two days there has been really, um, very little spread on that part of the fire. So that's good news. This part, not so much. Um, it's just going to keep doing what it wants to on this North end. And, um, we'll keep you posted. I'm hoping to get out here on the ground tomorrow. Um, get some pictures of the fire effects so far and, um, see what we can track down. Anyhow, um, we're going to have another video coming up here um, shortly on the fire severity of Dixie, similar to what we published on YouTube the other day for the Caldor. So um, keep an eye out for that, and uh, hope everyone has a good day. Thanks a lot.